Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about microphones and gear in general. When you run a home studio, you might be asking yourself often, do I need this piece of gear? Should I upgrade? Is it worth it? And you're going to be going through this loop time and time again. Today I'm going to be walking you through a real microphone comparison between two great microphones. The first one is the Rode NT1A, which is priced at around $200, and the second one being the Neumann TLM 103, which is priced at around $1,200. And today I'm going to be showing you real life examples with vocals and guitar that were recorded with each of these microphones. And you can hear for yourself if this microphone is actually worth 10 times more your money than this microphone. Let's jump in. So I want to make the case that gear shouldn't be the defining factor that should hold you back from making great music in your studio. I believe most of the great music that we make these days is due to the knowledge and workflow that we that we have rather than the actual gear. And that is why I'm making this microphone comparison so you can see how much the gear is actually making a difference in the quality and how much the know-how slash workflow is making a difference in the quality. So we're gonna jump into my Pro Tools session and we're going to get to work over here. So as you can see, I have a piano track. There's a guitar, one guitar track which was recorded with the Neumann and then there is another guitar track which was recorded with the Rode. And then I have two vocals track, two vocal tracks, the same thing. One was recorded with, with the Neumann and one was recorded with the Rode. All right, so now I'm gonna play the vocals with just the piano. And I'm gonna play it twice, once with the Neumann and once with the Rode. And I'm gonna be playing it blindly so you won't know which one is which. Here is playback A. Are you still there? Cause my heart's beating so fast in me I'm scared And in the darkness I finally see I was never the one making plans for me And this is playback B Are you still there? Cause my heart's beating so fast in me I'm scared And in the darkness I finally see I was never the one making plans for me If you think you know which one is which, please drop a comment down below. I'm truly cu curious to, to hear from you. So pause the video for a second, drop a comment, and then continue. All right, now here are the results. Option A was the Neumann TLM 103. Option B was the Rode NT1A. Bear in mind, both of these vocal signals were slightly tuned and very, very minimally processed. A little compression, a dash of EQ, and that's it. Now I'm gonna play for you a record the recordings from the guitar, one with the Neumann again and one with the with the Rode again. And this time I won't do it blindly, this time I'll actually do it in front of you. Okay, so here is the Rode recording of the guitar. <laughs> And here is the Neumann recording of the guitar. Now I'll pl quickly play the vocals one more time, um, this time just without the track. This is the, the TLM 103, the Neumann. In the nightfall, are you still there? Cause my heart's beating so fast in me, I'm scared. Sounds great. Let's listen to the road. In the nightfall, are you still there? 
Cause my heart's beating so fast in me, I'm scared. Also sounds great. Now, as you can see in this video, although these microphones do sound different, I'm not denying that they sound different, but the question here is more about as a home studio owner, is it worth it for me to spend 10 times more money on a piece of gear? And the answer lies right here. If you think the Neumann TLM 103 is worth 10 times more your money, that means or it should mean that you are very experienced in your home studio journey and you know what you want and you know what you need and you think that that is the Neumann TLM 103. Then good for you, go ahead and purchase it. But for the rest of you out there, for the majority out of you out there that are thinking to yourselves, that doesn't sound like it's worth 10 times more my money. That is exactly the point I'm making here. Go ahead, go buy yourself a Rode NT1A, which happens to be a great sounding mic, and make yourself some great sounding music. Now, how do you make such great sounding recordings with just with just budget gear? And their answer is knowing how to use the gear, different techniques, different methods, different insights, different tricks, different tips. But that is ultimately how you get great sounding recordings from just budget gear. And the truth is, if you ask any pro engineer or pro producer to give you a product with just budget gear, and they will be able to give you a great sounding product, an awesome sounding product, an amazing sounding product, a product that sounds tens and tens of hundreds of times better than a beginner starting out with very expensive gear. And that is a fact. So if you think the gear is what's limiting to you, I want you to scratch that mindset, put in a new mindset and say that the the, the workflow and the skill and the know-how, that's what's limiting me and go ahead and advance on your skills and advance on your workflow, workflow and get great sounding results with just your budget recording gear. To end off this video, I want to give you a free gift. But right before I give you that free gift, I just want to show you the vocal and guitar recording together that we did with the Rode NT1A with this microphone. So you can get an idea of what a vocal guitar re performance can sound like with just literally a $200 microphone. So let's just listen to that real quick and then I'll give you that free gift I was talking about. In the nightfall are you still there? Cause my heart's beating so fast in me I'm scared And in the darkness I finally see I was never the one making plans for me And there you have it, a great sounding guitar vocal performance. Now for that free gift. If you're looking for gear, just like this, budget gear, or you're you're in a little bit of a spending mood and you want to spend a little bit more on gear, or if you're, you're looking for some pro gear, whatever kind of gear you're looking for for your home studio, whether you're looking to start it out or just upgrade a piece of gear, I got you covered. I want to give you my free home studio gear guide that you can download directly right down below for free. And it's got options for every budget and links to every product. And you're going to really love it. So go download it and enjoy. One last question before I let you go. I want you to comment down below if you personally feel like this microphone outdid this microphone tenfold price wise. I'm really interested to know. I'm, I'm curious to know if what you feel and it's a free, free floor down there. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching the video and until next time.